Hey everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing okay and enjoying the day so far. And so in today's video, we are talking about microneedling and how we can use this skin treatment safely and effectively in the comfort of our own homes. But before we dive into microneedling, the benefits of it, what is it, and how I incorporate it into my routine, I would just like to ask if you are new here, please do subscribe down below and also give this video a massive thumbs up because it really does help my videos out. And yes, Let's get into it. So, microneedling is a skin treatment where a tool, which is a derma roller or a stamp or a pen, consists of a very thin, very tiny needles that actually penetrate the top layer of the skin. This tool basically punches the top layer of the skin, promoting an increased rate in collagen production. In doing so, this targets multiple skin concerns, such as fine lines, acne scarring, hyperpigmentation, and sun damage. So really, it is a very ideal low maintenance skin treatment that can be suited to a wide variety of people because of the different skin concerns it can target. And don't get me wrong, you can find more advanced and more pricey microneedling treatments in spas and in clinics done by estheticians. However, if you want to opt for the more affordable option, you can actually perform this skin treatment yourself in the comfort of your own home. However, doing it yourself at home can of course come with some risk factors, especially if that user is inexperienced with microneedling tools. So in today's video, I want to show you how I perform microneedling at home in a safe and effective manner and how I can incorporate it into my evening routine um, to really just get the best results possible. And with that being said, this video is very kindly sponsored by Banish, who I absolutely adore and just love and who inspire me on a daily basis. Not only do Banish have great skincare products and a great microneedling tool, they just encompass absolutely everything that I value and they just are one of the very few brands that can promote acne positivity and real skin and real texture and just real issues we face with our skin on a daily basis. I honestly think they are literally one of a very, 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 very few brands that use their Instagram and their platforms to really just celebrate acne, celebrate acne scarring and texture and hyperpigmentation and just real skin. Like honestly, go and check out their Instagram page. I will um, leave it on screen here and also linked in the description box down below. And also I have a very exciting discount code, which I will share with you in a few minutes. And so back to microneedling. So Banish have a microneedling stamp tool, which is called the Banisher 2.0. And it's called 2.0 because their original microneedling tool was actually a derma roller. However, using this device can usually leave track marks on the skin, which can result in just, yeah, a side effect of microneedling that you kind of don't want um, on your skin. Obviously, those track marks aren't permanent, but they do take quite a while to sort of settle down on the skin. And so with this in mind, and really just wanting the consumers to get the best out of their products, Banish created a 2.0, which is actually a stamp tool. So instead of rolling it on your skin, you actually press it down gently onto your skin, which leaves no track marks in, what's the word, <laughs> presence? <laughs> I don't know what the word is. I mean, I could have said in its tracks, but that is just a pun not intended. And the Banisher 2.0 consists of 24 karat gold plated titanium bristles that are super thin and can penetrate the skin very easily but very safely and leave an undetectable finish. And they are gold plated to have those antibacterial properties on there just ensuring that the microneedling tool is just super safe and won't cause any like unwanted bacteria. However, what's even cool is that the cap that is used in the packaging of the product can actually be used as a sanitizer cap where you can actually soak the bristles in 70% rubbing alcohol and sanitize your product before and also after use. And using 70% rubbing alcohol poured into the cap up to the fill line before and also after use will really just help to kind of give your mind at ease that the product is really sanitized, it's clean and it is safe to use. And there are no nasty bacteria forming on the bristles whilst the skin is being penetrated. Also, you gotta think, putting dirty needles into the skin, like, ugh, 
absolutely no thank you. Oh my god, that is so grim. And in order to ensure that my stamp tool is properly sanitised, I leave the bristles soaking in the rubbing alcohol for around five minutes, and then I leave it to air dry before using my tool. And then I also repeat that process after use as well. So it's always better to be safer than sorry. And so when you're applying the stamp tool onto the areas of concern, it honestly really is painless and so easy to navigate on the face. You have freedom with using a microneedling tool like this because instead of like a derma roller where you kind of have to really go across all of the whole entire face, with this stamp tool you have yeah, like I said, you have the freedom just to put the stamp tool on the areas of concern. So for me, I don't have acne scarring everywhere on my skin. I only have it around here and also on my forehead. And also I have some fine lines developing on my forehead. So those are my really areas of concern instead of other areas. And it's really, really important to note to only use a microneedling tool on scarring or hyperpigmentation and fine lines. Do not use it on active breakouts. For instance, I'm, I currently I'm having breakouts here, um, and do I have one there? I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have some breakouts on my face and I will not use a microneedling tool on them. This is to ensure that I don't puncture the skin on the breakouts, really increasing the chances of irritation and inflammation and also scarring. And so once my stamp tool is sanitized and air dried and ready and ready to go, I gently press the tool onto my skin for a few seconds, lift it back up, rotate the tool roughly 90 degrees and repeat the process in the same position three more times. This allows the area to be fully attacked if you'd like to call it, and then I move on to another area on my skin. And when I first used this microneedling tool, I was super, super cautious and a little bit scared, I'm not gonna lie. So basically I have a phobia of needles and just like having blood tests or injections or even watching it on a telly. Honestly, I am out for the count. I have blacked out, I am just like, throwing it up, whatever, it really isn't my kind of thing. But knowing the benefits of microneedling, I just knew I had to give this a go. And I was so surprised by this tool. The only sort of feel I can really describe using this microneedling tool is just putting like the kind of the wiry velcro side just pressing it gently onto your skin and that's just all it feels like like there is literally no scratching there's no really sharp pains so there's actually no pain or anything and honestly it's just super super gentle and just so easy to use and also the evenings that i use this i just like to kind of pretend that i'm in a clinic and i'm ready for a skin pamper so i really just use a lovely oil balm gentle cleanser and then i'll go on with a water-based cleanser and allow my skin to dry for you know five to ten minutes before i start with this application and i only use the banisher 2.0 around once every two weeks, maybe once every week, if I'm really sort of thinking that needs to be tackled and that needs to go. And I know I'm using this tool in a safe and controlled manner, especially following from the really informative how-to guide leaflet when you purchase your Banisher products. Like honestly, it just makes it so much easier and just explains how to use the Banisher 2.0 and also the other products that you can get into your in your starter kit. And not only do Banish excel in creating a safe and incredible microneedling stamp tool, but their skincare is literally insane. And for example, after using the stamp tool, I will apply a few drops of the Banish oil. And the Banish oil is a pure l ascorbic acid serum slash oil hybrid kind of product, which will really just help promote collagen synthesis and speed up the reparative process. And the Banish oil also has ingredients like glycerin, which is a fantastic humectant, which is one of my favorite humectants actually. It has aloe leaf juice in there, which is really great for your anti-inflammatory um, properties. It has witch hazel, which is fantastic for your acneic and also your breakout prone skin. It has vitamin E and also rosehip oil in there as well. Yeah, like I said before, using the Banish oil after the stamp tool will really just help increase the efficacy of that routine and just improve the performance and also the results. And once the Banish oil has been applied, there is a slight tingling sensation onto the skin, but it really does go down dramatically, I would say after 10 to 15 minutes and you will notice a um, slight redness in the areas where you have pressed the stamp tool on your skin, 
but this goes within an hour or so and you're using this in the evening anyway um, so really honestly don't be alarmed and don't think oh I can't go out because well really you should just be you know getting into bed soon and just giving yourself a nice little pamper and yeah just just relaxing. So yeah, once I have applied the banish oil onto my skin, I just tend to leave the routine as of that. So that is finito, it is absolutely done. And I know that I can leave my skin to heal, repair, strengthen, and just have this huge wave of collagen coming my way. <laughs> that was so cheesy. And you can use my code ADAM for $5 off a $50 or more purchase on Banish.com. And do not worry, my code works internationally and also Banish do ship internationally, which is just incredible. And also whilst you're on their website, please do check out their starter kit, which includes the Banisher 2.0 stamp tool and a few other ranges of their incredible products. So you've got like a pumpkin enzyme mask, which is incredible. You've got a um, the Vitamin C Beauty Alexia Facial Mist, which is one of my favourite facial mists, and the saving you get on that starter kit is mind-blowing. I think you save, like, over a hundred dollars or something like that, which is incredible. And I'll leave everything linked in the description box down below, and even check out my Instagram, because I feature banished products on my Instagram feed a lot. So yeah, worth checking that out as well. Thank you once again to Banish for sponsoring today's video and also thank you to you for your endless love and support. It honestly means the world to me. And so I will see you very, very soon for a brand new video. See you later, bye bye.